8th lecture note. The title of this lecture note is Legal Relation. We are going to look at this in three aspects. The first, the concept of legal relation. The second, legal facts. The third, structure of legal relation. Let us look at the first aspect, the concept of legal relation. Law manifests itself in three main forms. People's consciousness, that is legal consciousness, developed by L. Patrzyzyski Psychological School of Law. Legal norms, that is legal regulation by G. Kelsen's Positive School of Law and legal relations by O. Ehrlich's Sociological School of Law, which are formed as a result of the implementation of legal norms. In this sense, legal relations are a legal form of other social relations, that is, political, economic, social, spiritual, and cultural, and so on. In other words, legal relations are those social relations that, due to their importance for, so for society and the state, reproduction and repeatability of life require giving a certain legal form. Signs of legal relations include um, The first, legal relation is a form of public relations as a result of specific areas of public life in which they arise as, a, as well as futures of the law as a regulator of society. Accordingly, they are divided into two, that is a relations that ha have their material content of, of political, economic and other types of human activity, b relations that arise as a process and result of purely legal activities, for example, the actions of an investigator in a criminal case, consideration of cases in court, and so on. Legal relations arise on the basis of legal norms. The third, legal relations are, vo are volitional, that is conscious in nature. First, they implement the will of the state expressed in the norms of law. Second, for their occurrence, change and termination, the will of the participant is necessary. The fourth, legal relations are a two-way legal relationship with the presence of corresponding rights and obligations of subjects that regulate their behavior in relation to each other, that is, they are representative and binding. The fifth, legal relations as well as the legal norms on the basis of which they arise are protected and controlled by the state. Other public relations do not have such protection or control. Summarizing the above, we can formulate the following definition. Legal, re legal regula let me come again. Legal relations, a special type and form of public relations, regulated by legal norms, protected by the state, the participants of which are carriers of mutual rights and obligation. Classification of legal relations is carried out by the nature of the relationship between subjects, that is, general and specific, by the degree of certainty of subjects, absolute and relative, by social purpose, that is, regulatory and protective, by the subject of legal relation, that is, constitutional, administrative, civil, criminal, labor, and so on, by the nature of regulatory norms, that is, material and procedural, by the composition of subjects, that is, simple between two subjects, and complex between several or an unlimited number of subjects, by the time of action, that is, short term and lasting, or long term. Let us look at the second aspect, legal fact. Legal relations arise, change, and terminate on the basis of legal facts. That legal facts. The actual living conditions, situation, and circumstance provided 
for by hypothesis of legal norms. It is customary to distinguish two types of legal facts based on volitional criteria, events and actions. Events are circumstances that do not depend on the will and consciousness of people but can give rise to legal consequences. They are absolute events, that is, the occurrence and development of which are not related to the volitional activity and desires of participants in legal relations. Force majeure, that is, natural disasters, epidemics, catastrophes, accidents, birth and death of a person, and relative, that is, arise at the will of the subject but later arise and develop independently of it. For example, a fight that resulted in the death of a person. Actions are a type of legal facts that are always associated with the volitional activity of people. They are divided into legitimate and Ill illegal. illegal. For a number of legal relations, the occurrence of, n of not one but several legal facts is required. This set is referred to as the actual composition or the legal composition. Let us look at the third aspect now. Structure of the legal relation. The structure of any legal relationship includes the following elements. 1. The subjects of the legal relationship. 2. The objects of the legal relationship. 3. The content of the legal relationship, that is material, volitional, and legal. Subjects of legal relations. They are participants, that is parties, persons, who have subjective rights and bear legal obligations. A party that has rights is called an authorized person. A party that has obligation is called a rightful person. Subjects of legal relations can be grouped into two main groups. Individual subjects, that is, individual citizens, stateless persons, persons with dual citizenships, foreign citizens, and collective subjects, that is, organizations, legal entities of private and public law. Individuals in... Oh, let me come again. Individuals, in order to act as subjects of legal relations, must have legal capacity, legal capacity and thought, which together form a legal personality. Legal capacity is a general or abstract possibility for an individual to have the rights and obligations stipulated by law. Legal capacity, that is, the ability of a person to personally acquire subjective rights and legal obligation by their actions and to exercise them, giving rise to certain legal consequences by such actions. Delinquency, that is, the ability of a person to give an account of their actions and bear legal responsibility for them, provided for by legal norms in the event of an offense. Collective subjects of legal relations include two categories. A. Private legal entities B. Public legal entities The concept of a private legal ent entity is given in Article 48 of the Civil Code of the Russian Federation that is an, an organization that has separate property and is responsible for its obligations can acquire and exercise civil rights and bear civil duties on its own behalf be a plaintiff and a defendant in court Legal entities under public law include the state, state territorial entities, municipal and administrative autonomous entities, territorial public collectives, state authorities, and local self-government bodies. There is no legal definition for this. The object of legal relations are various social benefits that serve to satisfy the interests and needs of legal entities about which they enter into legal relations and exercise their subjective rights and obligations. In legal relations, 
material or actual, that is actions, behavior or subjects, volitional, that is state, state will embodied in a legal norm, volitional acts of subjects due to which legal connections between them arise, and legal content, that is subject, subjective rights and obligation, are distinguished. Subjective rights, a measure of per permissible behavior guaranteed by law and protected by the state, which gives a person the opportunity to satisfy their interests at their own discretion within the limits of the powers granted by the legal norm. Legal obligation, that is the necessity of proper or required be behavior of a person in the interest of the authorized person provided for by law and guaranteed by the state coercion. And with that, we come to the end of the eighth lecture. Thanks.